my father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TT off from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to downgrade your PlayStation Vita via with Maru version 3.0. And this method does work on the latest firmware version, which is 3.73. And it works with the PlayStation Vita also as the PSTV. As well, for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing on how to install Hankaku Enzo, which is basically permanent Hankaku. And it's going to be custom firmware for your PlayStation Vita device. So with that basically means so with H on core if you guys may know every time you power off your system you always have to run H on core to run homebrew but however if you on you know once you downgrade your system which I'm going to be showcasing today and once you successfully install Hankaku Enzo basically you will never have to use a program like H on core again since you always will have Hankaku at boot and you can just run any homebrew you want at of you know your leisure once you boot up your system rather than running H on core but with that being all out the way as as well if you guys do want more information about 3.73 and how um 3.73 is safe with um H on core 2 and plus with this downgrader I highly do recommend to go ahead and check out this video right here if you want more information about 3.73 and how is this is compatible I do recommend checking out this video from here but one prerequisite I do want to state as well um is basically for this process you need H on core 2 for this process so if you're either using a device or your PlayStation Vita is on 3.71 or 3.72 or 3.73, I highly recommend to go ahead and check out my official guide here on how to hack your PlayStation Vita first with H on Core 2 since it is required for this process. And today's tutorial, since it's going to be quite long, I'm not going to be showcasing on how to install H on Core 2. Thus, that's why I recommend watching this video first and then you could come back to this one where I'll show you guys the downgrade. But with all of that um, being out the way as well, I highly do recommend as well to follow my social media so you never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well you will never forget the latest updates i'll have whether it be on topics like this for the vita the playstation 4 ps3 and such and so forth one thing i do want to state as well is i do have an official community that you guys can join the via um my link will be in the description down below as well as showcased on the screen so if you want to go ahead and then join my official discord not only you can get you know help and support for topics like this whether it be a common question about the vita but you can meet new people from the hacking and modding scene and my um you know discord is growing every single day so there's a lot of fun stuff you could do in my discord not only you know just for support and help with that being all out the way as well if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form of course it's purely optional you could become a patreon via right now and i will have that in a link in the description down below but becoming a patreon and it will help with the overall development of my channel and it'll help me grow as a youtuber and it will help me just provide better quality content for you guys to watch but as that being out the way in terms of donations we're going to go ahead and get started for today's prerequisites and everything that i state just like in any of my other videos will be in a link in the description down below so of course as stated before your device or your playstation vita needs to be already modded that's already on the latest firmware 3.73 and you need to be having the new h on core 2 to exploit um you'll also need a memory card and this is required if you have an original playstation vita 1000 if you have the slim model which i'll be using today which has the one gigabyte internal memory um you don't need it for this process but if you have a 2000 with a memory card it doesn't matter um as long as you have you know the 2000 with the one gigabyte i'm um, already installed on it you don't need to do it for this process but if you have a 1000 original fat model you need a memory card um as well you need the official 3.60 uh, firmware for um, the Vita and I'll show you guys on how to get that later on in the video you need the SKG Leba 3.73 release of Madero please make sure it's the SKG Leba I will have mine's link in the description down below and I'll showcase on what website and the github on how to get this make sure it's the 3.73 release and not the older version because um the 3.72 release or the you know version 2.0 is not supported with 3.73 so make sure you're using the latest build 
build for this or you you know could run into issues by breaking your system um you need vita shell and i'll show you guys on how to get that later on in the video and i will have a link on how to get that as well you also need filezilla ftp client that's how we're going to be transferring our files for our vita for today and we're going to be using something called online md5 checker and this basically verifies the md5 hash for the um actual firmware update 3.60 and i'll get in more into detail in that in the video as well and last but not least the prerequisite that we are going to be needing once we install you know enzo hankaku enzo we need the enzo vbk version 1.1 and this is once we successfully downgrade to 3.60 we're going to be installing this um but that's all for what we need to go ahead and focus on for the prerequisites one thing i do want to state is a major disclaimer so make sure you follow every direction i state in this guide because there are crucial steps that can break your system if you don't follow the exact things i state as well i am not responsible if you didn't follow this guide as shown here and your system becomes brick due to you not following directions so i do want to state that out the way another disclaimer i do want to um, get out the way as well your device needs to be fully charged for this process please make sure your device is not on 50 percent even though maru on the github says it just go ahead take some time out of your day Go ahead and charge your PlayStation Vita. Of course, if you're using a PlayStation TV, you don't need to charge it, but make sure your device is charged. Make sure not to use SD to Vita and use an official Sony memory card. So if you already have a hacked device and you're basically trying to do this as well with SD to Vita, make sure you um, disable SD to Vita and just use your original memory card for this process. And as well, be sure to disable any plugins that you have installed or model rule won't work. So I'll show you guys on how to basically, you know, disable model rule and basically basically um you know excuse me not disable model but disable any plugins for today's video and one thing i do want to state since we got all the disclaimers out the way um here is the official tweet from the actual developer skg leba for um you know showing support that 3.73 is now been supported with model so you can see here that um it is possible to downgrade on 3.73 and here is the official github that i'm going to be showcasing here and this is the link where we need to get the latest build from and i'll also have the website right here so this is what it should look like when you go ahead and download yours and with that being all out the way with all the disclaimers and prerequisites i just want to give a special thanks to skg labor um for and also everyone from the vita development scene for you know just creating um, a bunch of homebrew and tools but with all of that getting out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on the pc side of things Alright guys, so first thing what we need to go ahead and check out is just to verify that H Encore 2 is successfully installed on our system. So let's go ahead and run the program. I'm already assuming that you already have H Encore 2 installed for this process. So as showcased here, H Encore 2 is now working. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out now. And then from here, what we're going to do is go to our settings on our PlayStation Vita. Go ahead and scroll down to system settings just so I can verify and show you guys that I am on the latest firmware, which is 3.73. And now what I'm going to do is transfer to the PC and get started on that side of the tutorial. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, I'm back onto my PC right now. What I did show you in the last clip that my PlayStation Vita was already hacked, so you could see that I could, you know, load up H Encore 2 properly and that my system was on the latest version, which was 3.73. But assuming that you guys are still continuing on with this video, please make sure that your device is of course hacked or you can't continue with this process. But what we're gonna do is go to the official um GitHub for Maduro, and I'm basically gonna just be reading the installation guide and showcasing this here and I'm going to be going through step by step on how to do this so of course everything will be in the link in the description down below but the first step what we need to do is go ahead and download and install maru.vpk and so what we need to do is go to this link right here to the releases I will have this in the link in the description down below and make sure you download version 2.1 and this is the one that has added support for firmware version 3.73 all we got to do is just go ahead and download this on um, VBK to our PC make sure not to download the version 2.0 or 1.0 because um they're outdated and they only support 3.71 and 3.72 but once you did that first up what we're going to do now is go to our Hankaku Enzo um, VPK right here on GitHub. I will have the link in the description downloaded for that. All we got to do is download the latest build of version 1.1. Make sure not to use this uh, release because from Yif and Lu, as he stated, um, it may cause some bricks. So make sure you use the um, latest build. But once um, you have version 1.1 and also uh, Enzo installed and Maduro, what we're going to do is go back 
into the uh, you know installation guide and we're gonna go ahead and do step two so we need to go ahead and acquire a our basically our desired firmware so basically we need our firmware that we want to go ahead and downgrade to which I'm gonna be showcasing on how to get your firmware so as showcased here um here is the website we're going to be using it's called dark sternies and this includes a basically a complete um you know archive of all the firmware that has been released um included 3.73s for our official firmware for our vita what we're going to do now is just go ahead into the search box right here and make sure to type in 3.60 if you're going to be downgrading to um that firmware if you're going to be doing 3.65 all you got to do is you know download this firmware right here but since i'm doing uh 3.60 this is the one I'm going to be um, downgrading to make sure it's coming from the complete official firmware section do not mess with anything from test kits prototype dev kit firmware dev kit firmware decrypted test kits don't mess with any of those because if you try to install it on a retail Vita um, it probably won't even work or possibly break your system so make sure you know just follow the guide on hand and just stick to complete official firmware but since I'm going to be doing the 3.60 um, downgrade for today since I prefer 3.60 all you would have got to do is go to go ahead and click on the link it will pop up this mega upload download uh you know file and all you got to do is download it since i already have it on my pc um you know in my file download location that's why i skipped that step but all you got to do is download it and then once it's on your pc um you're basically done with that step and now since we're done with step number one and two what we need to do now is go into our desktop go into our download section or wherever you have your files at and we need to basically drag and drop all of our files to our desktop or actually I accidentally deleted them let me go ahead and put them back so okay so here is my uh, files all onto my desktop here we have my duro we also have enzo.vbk and we also have our official firmware file.zip make sure you have one war or one zip for this process if you don't i will have that link in the description down below you could just install it as a regular exe but once you have one war um, already on your pc all you got to do is go ahead and hit extract files by right clicking and then go ahead and hit ok from here it will create a folder on your desktop once it's unzipped and then it will contain basically all the PlayStation Vita official firmware files. And all we need to do now is go ahead and open this folder right here. And we need to unzip the dot zip that contains the 3.60 um, firmware file. So I'm going to go ahead and extract here, extract files again, go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to put my PlayStation Vita official firmware 3.60 update file that we're going to downgrade to in a certain folder right here. Do not um, extract the pre or system data one. Just extract the last, excuse me, extract the last one here. But once you have it, you'll see your PSP2 update.pub file, which we need to downgrade for this process. So the first thing what we need to do now is, you know, optional, but I highly do recommend doing this process. We're going to go ahead and verify the MD5 hash checks, and we're going to verify that this um, pub is not corrupted in any shape or form before we downgrade because installing firmware on any system whether downgrading or upgrading it um it's very important that you verify these um md5 checks so you know your file is not corrupt before installing this onto your playstation vita so what we're going to do now is go back to our google browser or whatever browser of our choice let me minimize this out we're going to go to a website called online uh, md5 uh, hash checker and this is basically going to check the file uh, checksum for our update firmware pub and this is could be used for anything that deals with md5 uh, checksum hashes so all we got to do is pretty easy is just go to choose file let me go to my desktop right here we're going to go to our vita folder that we just extracted out so ps vita official firmware 3.60 we're going to go to this folder right here once again go into psp2 update.pub hit open and now it's uploading to the server and now it's going to be creating the file checksum to verify um you know that this thing is not corrupted so as showcased here here is a random um hash of the md5 right here all we got to do if we go back into this folder right here go into this hash.txt as you see here the first um hash for this firmware if we hit Control c go back into google chrome and paste it right here if you see here it has a check mark that means our file is not corrupted in any shape or form and it's good to go in terms of transferring to our vita and it's this is not of course it's optional on how to do it you don't have to do it but just by doing this you save you know you know a brick risk on your PlayStation Vita. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of Google Chrome, exit out of this, 
exit out of that and what we need to do now is go to our playstation vita open up vita shell and then we need to go ahead and set up a ftp server so we could transfer our firmware also these two vbks and then we're going to go ahead and get started on the downgrade process for today all right guys so as showcased here what we need to do is go ahead and open up our playstation vitas we need to go ahead and run h on core 2 so that's what i'm doing here just hit yes if you get this trophy um error message and then from here what we need to do is just install hankaku make sure as well as to reset your tie hankafig.txt and then once you exit out from here what we need to do is open up vita shell and then once you uh, reset your tie fig, make sure your wi-fi is on for this process as well we need to go into ur0 delete this tie folder right here and this basically is disabling all of our plugins. And then in UX0, what we need to do is disable our tie folder right here. So hit triangle and then hit delete. And then what we're gonna do from here, guys, is go ahead and hit start on our Vita, where it says select button. Just hit left and right in your D-pad and make sure it says FTP. Then hit select. And now you just see your FTP server on. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, we're back onto the PC. What we want to do is just leave our PlayStation Vita on standby. Make sure your FTB server is now on. But what we want to do as of right now is just open up FileZilla FTB client. If you don't already have FileZilla FTB client the Thor excuse me installed or any type of FTP client of your choice um I will have the link to FileZilla as well you just install it like any other exe but once you have FileZilla opened up on your PC what we want to do is go ahead and type in our PlayStation Vita's IP address that is showcased on the screen so here is mine's right here and then um here is the port we need to type in 1337 hit quick connect and then from here guys all we got to do is just if you get this little insecure ftp connection just go ahead and hit always allow and then hit ok and now you should see all of your directories on your playstation vita if you don't make sure you already have basically um you know unsafe homebrew unticked and hankaku settings so you can see all your directories but what we need to do now is just go and take the enzo vpk file right here and the marduro.vpk and drag it into the ux0 file the UX0 is your memory card or your internal storage if you're using your um, Vita. So as showcased here, here's the Enzo.vpk and Mardoro.vpk transferred over. What we need to do as well, I'm going to go ahead and hit um, tab back twice just to see all my partitions. What I'm going to do is go into this PS Vita folder right here and I'm going to drag and drop this PSP2 update.pup into UX0. So this is what I'm just going to do here. It may take a little while since we're going to be transferring this file over our Wi-Fi. Of course, um, if you're doing this by USB, you could also do it. But I'm just going to be using Fazla FTP client for today. So I'm going to chop the video right here. Once it's fully done, I'll show you guys that it's successfully transferred in Fazla, and then we're going to get started back onto the PlayStation Vita side of things. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so it's now done. All my files have successfully transferred over. So if I go to my successful transfers onto FileZilla FTP client, you can see that my update and also Madaru and Enzo is now here. So let me go ahead and back out of UX0. Let me just back out of all of these folders right here. But yeah, you can see that PSP2 update.pup is here, Maduro and Enzo.vpk. What we want to do now is just X out of um basically FileZilla FTP client. Now I'm going to showcase Vita Shell and the steps on what we need to do from there. Alright, so what we need to do now is just go back onto our Vita. Let me go ahead and open it up. As you see here, we already transferred our file, so let's exit out our FTP server. And then what we need to do now is go into UX0 where all of our files are located at. Scroll all the way down. We need to go ahead and install the modaru.vpk. So let me go ahead and install that. Once a modaru.vpk is installed, the next VBK what we need to install is Enzo as of right now. And then once you install Enzo, what we're going to do is go ahead and transfer the PSP to update.pub folder, aka 3.60 firmware. So let's go ahead and hit triangle on our device, go into hit move and hit X. And then from here, guys, what we're going to go to is to our app folder right here, go into modaru 000, 
hit triangle and we're gonna paste our firmware. Once our firmware has now has been pasted, this is what it should look like. We're gonna go ahead and power off our system. And then what we're gonna do is rerun H Encore 2 without running any apps. Alrighty guys, so as showcase here, my PlayStation Vita has now restarted. What we need to do now is just open up H Encore 2. So that's what I'm doing here. Then once H Encore 2 is now opened up, just hit yes. What we need to do is install Hankaku once again, exit out. It should write something to your Taihan config.txt. What we want to do now is open up Maduro. Go ahead and open it up. If you get this little error stating that you need to enable unsafe homebrew, all you got to do to fix that is hit settings. Go into settings once again. And then from here, go into Hankaku settings, hit enable unsafe homebrew, go back out. Close out the old Maduro app, scroll down, go to Maduro app again. Then from here, it will state your um, current firmware and also your target factory firmware on how low you could go. So as showcase here, my current firmware is 3.73. On my target, I wanna go to a 3.60 and then my factory firmware can only go down to 3.30. So as showcase here, it says the software will make any permanent modifications to your Vita. If anything goes wrong, there's no recovery from this. So not even a hardware flasher. So, you know, just hitting X by installing the terms of service, just go ahead and hit X on the installation. Now it's copying the PlayStation Portable uh, 2 update.pub or basically 3.60 firmware to UD0 so just wait for it to do its thing it may take a little while for it to do its uh you know thing since it takes like maybe 10 or 20 seconds but once it's fully done um it will boot out the app and now it will seem like your system is now updating like if it was a new update but really it's downgrading your system and, and now it is it basically is installing 3.60 or if you're using 3.65 that's what it's doing now so it may um you know take a while but what i'm going to do is just showcase it on the screen right here and then what should happen your playstation vita device will boot off and then you should be able to get back in your vita once your system has fully restarted. All right guys, so as showcased here, my PlayStation Vita has now restarted. What we wanna do now is just verify that we are on that downgraded firmware. So as you guys remember, I was on 3.73. So all we gotta do is go to our settings, system again, system information, and voila, we are now on 3.60. So you did half of this step and congratulations, you're almost done. What we need to do now is go to our web browser. And what you wanna do is go ahead and type in this website right here. I will have it in the link in the description down below. Once you type in this website on your PlayStation Vita, you will get the molecular shell. And this is how basically we used to install Hankaku on 3.60. And then from here, guys, all we got to do is just go into uh, Enzo. Once you run Hankaku Enzo, um, if you already have unsafe um, homebrew on tick, then you get this error. All we got to do is go into our settings and it's an easy, simple fix. We just got to go into Hankaku settings once again, enable unsafe homebrew and then hit circle. The reason why it does that, I think it's the config.txt getting restarted, but once you run Enzo again, you should basically um, see that you can now install it. So by hitting X, you should see that is now um, doing its process. So once it's fully done, hit any key on your Vita. And then once you do that, you should be able to see that now Hankaku Enzo has been successfully installed. And now your boot logo will have the Enzo logo instead of the PlayStation. And now all we got to do from here is just to verify that you have Hankaku Enzo running correctly and everything is successful is by hitting on Vita Shell. You can see that you don't need to run H Encore and Hankaku anymore since you have Hankaku at boot. 
with all of that stuff getting out the way for today i just want to say thank you guys for watching this guide hopefully i did teach you something new on how to basically downgrade your playstation vita on the latest firmware if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like subscribe and make sure to share with your friends but with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys i love you all